online shopping is just terrifying for me because my body literally is like eight different sizes. I never know what size to get for myself. So I went on Shein a couple months ago. Actually, no, I think it was like a month ago. And I made a huge order, very big order. If my dad found out how much I spent, he would be very upset with me. Mm -hmm. So before this video starts, I just want to let y'all know that I not only got on camera half naked, but edited it, sat through, and put it on the internet just for your guys' advantage so I could help even one or two of you figure out what size you are in clothes. So please do not, do not come for me in the comments, okay? I'm doing this for y'all, not for me, because do I want to put myself on the internet like this? No but I wanna help y'all out. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hello or hi if you're new here, I'm Savannah, I'm 19. I'm a pre-nursing major and a college student. I typically make lifestyle kind of videos and vlogs, but in today's video, I need to fix that. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Sheen or Shein haul. Now, disclaimer before this video starts, um, I think it's really important that um, like the size medium, large, extra large group is supported here on YouTube on these haul categories. I feel like whenever I see like haul videos, it's typically the same kind of people, if you know what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to like shame anybody. I'm not trying to do that. But basically what I want to do is I want to just bring awareness to, you know, the bigger girls, the taller girls, because I feel like on YouTube, Especially with like haul videos, I feel like it's always the same kind of build of person, which is amazing and great. And for those people who are built like that, that's amazing. I love it. But like I know personally when I watch haul videos and I see people built a certain way that I'm not, I'm kind of like, well, dang, like I don't know what I'm supposed to do, what size I'm supposed to get, all this kind of stuff. So um, I'll put my like information over here, like my sizes and everything. So that way, if you're like kind of the same size as me, I can help you out because the main goal of this video is just to help people out. And another thing that I wanted to get out of the way before we start the video is... Um, just trying to keep this play, uh, this space as much body positive and everything as we can. I'm literally hopping on this camera with bathing suits on, bikinis, just for you guys. So don't roast me in the comments, okay? I'm working on my abs. They're just in progress. And then another disclaimer before we get started. Um, I understand that places like Sheen, Zaffle, all that are terrible for the environment. They're not eco-friendly. But honestly, my thing is, is right now with quarantine, um, first of all, I'm broke. Second of all, the thrift stores are closed, which is where I get a lot of my clothes from. And don't worry, I will be doing a lot of thrifting videos when everything starts opening back up again. I've actually got a couple comments requesting that, so thank you guys who comment. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, I just really wanted, I'm really trying to redo my wardrobe. You guys saw that I did that closet clean up video a couple weeks ago, so if you want to watch that, feel free to. It's linked up here. Um, but yeah, I just want to say before y'all comment, oh my gosh. You look so blah 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 or oh my gosh you should have not have purchased from here blah 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 like y'all and i know i'm aware so basically i'm gonna scoot over so i can put myself right here and show you guys the clothes that i got so i got three bathing suits i guess i'm just gonna start out with those so i in an airy bathing suits so i'm like a size medium um i'm five eight so i'm pretty tall i guess um so i got larges at zaffle because i thought that um they were gonna run small which I kind of wish I would have got mediums now because they fit me comfortably the largest do but they're kind of a little big and like the extra fabric isn't really very flattering on me so I kind of wish I did get a medium which is funny because I got a large because I didn't think a medium was gonna be small enough but it turns out should have got the medium so yeah it's just this really cute pink it's like a tie top bikini set you guys see me wearing it over here um, it's super duper cute. I love the material. It feels like really good quality, which is good. I'm not mad at it. I love neon. I think people who wear neon bathing suits, it's so cute because it makes you look so tan and so like colorful and everything. No matter what your skin tone is, neons is always a good way to go for bathing suits because it'll make you look darker than you really are. So, pro tip there. In the same wave of the color bathing suits, um, I got... That wasn't the right intro. Um, I got this white one because I also think white is really elegant and makes anybody look tan. Um, so it's just this top right here, um, really cute. And then it has the bottoms. And I like all the bathing suits that I got because the bottoms, they're like kind of high waisted. So personally, that's the fit I like more. I can't do two high waisted bottoms though because my torso is so short, I'd literally like eat me up. But yeah, and all the bathing suits that come in this really cute like little case. So like honestly, when you go to the beach, just put them in there, wash them and get home. It's a cute little bag. Um, and then the last bathing suit that I got is this cheetah one, which 
I don't know why I've been in really much like I've been in a really big cheetah kick place oh, what how can I speak um I'm gonna keep adjusting this I'm so sorry it's so annoying but yeah I've been in such like a big cheetah kick lately I don't know what has gone into me but the bottles look like this it's like kind of high-waisted again like the last ones this is also a large um I got all these in large I kind of wish I would have got mediums but you know it's whatever and then here's the top and the top is just like a regular top but it comes with this little like string it detaches so you can tie the front together and like cinch it to how you like which i like that how it's like kind of customizable in that way you can cinch it or you don't have to okay now on to clothes there's really no specific order with how i tried on these clothes or anything like that i just kind of picked them up and tried them on um so the first clothing piece i have oh okay it's this dress it's so pretty and dainty i love it it reminds me of like a brandy melville kind of thing um, I've never shopped at Brandy Melville though, but just based off the YouTubers I watch who shop there. It's this really pretty, um, like kind of like square neck top dress and it cinches out the waist and then it's like little daisies. It is so, so cute. I wish I would have gotten a medium. Like everything that I should have sized up in, I didn't, but then everything I sized up in, I should not have. It's really annoying, but that's just the reality of being like a medium large. I feel like and being tall, it's just so hard to find stuff online. That's why I really don't online shop that much, but anyways um so there's that this next dress my AC just turned on this next dress that I have actually I got in a size large and I wish I wouldn't have because I definitely could have fit a medium but the reviews just had me scared so I just went up and yeah this one is so so pretty you guys know I love pink I love little frilly dresses like this I'm obsessed with the frills it's so so cute um but I don't have any boobs either so it kind of just <laughs> like and since I got it larger it's like a whole bunch of empty space up in the top area so it's kind of like awkward a little bit I mean I'll make it work um I'll just distract it with some necklaces but <laughs> yeah this dress is super pretty though and I'm very happy with this purchase I just wish I would have gotten a medium instead of a large this next dress thing that I got it's a two-piece set which I really loved it in the pictures but honestly it's kind of janky in person um so the top is really cute but the straps are like an awkward length from the rest of the piece the top is just a weird fit. I love the pattern and everything on it. It's just the top is kind of cut weird. Like it goes in in weird places and it's, I don't know. And then the bottoms, I was so excited for these bottoms. But I'm actually kind of disappointed because, so like the whole top of them is like that really weird, like scrunchy material, the same material that the whole entire top of it is. This, I love this material, but when it's too tight at the top, it like squeezes you in and then it creates a really unflattering like line. Like there's certain clothes, like they create a roll on you that you don't even have i think honestly well it's this is a skirt but like honestly i think i could wear this as a dress like i could get away with it being like a bandeau kind of top dress everything comes in these like bags which is cool because i can reuse these for other things but um oh okay so this was a two-piece set and guys i was so excited for this set first of all the color is a lot closer to my skin tone than I thought, which I don't really like wearing nudes like this color because it's really close to my skin tone. And I feel like if I'm not super tan, then it doesn't look right on me. So, but I don't like how they look together. Um, the shorts, I definitely could have gotten a size up, but I already got these in a large. And I don't know. I think the one thing I do have is a butt. So like when I wear shorts, I really have to like size up. Otherwise it's not going to fit. Um, and I got these in a large. I wish I would have got this in an extra large, but the top fits me fine as a large. It's just kind of cropped. It's literally like a bra. It's not really even like a top. Yeah, this next thing that I got, oh. So this shirt really actually surprisingly fit me really well. And it's definitely something that's really out of my comfort zone. So I don't know how often I'm wearing this, but um, it's just this really cute, it's kind of like a disco vibe. It's like a bell bottom bottom sleeve i don't think that's the right word for it but whatever um and then it just cinches in the front it's super duper cute it's um it's kind of thin though so i definitely and like i'm i kind of sweat a lot so i'm gonna have to the next thing is this oh this pink tie top i love tie top shirts i don't think that's what you call them but you'll see what i mean in a second when i get on the thing um it's again my favorite pink color y'all know how i roll um sorry they're kind of wrinkly too but it's just this button down tie shirt it's a little bit kind of cropped so it doesn't hang over my butt when i wear jeans the next thing oh the next thing is this like crop top which i don't really wear tight tops like this but you know this is a first for everything so i thought i was english okay i thought this was so cute really and i love the little lace at the bottom it fits me really well and it's very flattering on me so that was really a surprise um the material is kind of thin but i don't mind it so i might get more of these I got this in a large by the way i might get more of these in other colors just because they're really comfortable and i think like you wear these with leggings jeans skirts like they're really versatile and really kind of like staple pieces 
The next thing, okay, so the next thing I got was a Zodiac shirt, which if y'all know me, y'all know. I love astrology. Big astrology gal over here. And this shirt, I saw it was on sale. I was like, I can't not get it. It's just this crop shirt. And it has all the zodiac signs on it, um, the constellations, the signs. And then the middle is a sun and a moon. And I just thought that was right up my alley. I was like, you're kidding me, I need it. So I think it was only like $5 also. And then this next shirt, I kind of didn't really know how to put it on at first. Um, because in the picture there was no model with it, which I don't know why I bought a shirt that didn't have a model, like showing what it's supposed to look like. I don't know what it I don't know what that was about, but yeah, I think this would be really cute with a tank top underneath it. Also, my buns aren't even lengths, I mean even sizes, so don't roast me, but I literally spent like 30 minutes trying to slick my hair down and it was just not working and I was like, forget it, there's going to be an even, so sorry about it. Um, the next thing I got, okay, this one was really exciting. I forgot that I bought this. Um, this is just, also I'm sorry to say um a lot, oh, it's so annoying, okay. Uh, this is a black satin top, it ties in the front. I wish I would have gotten a size smaller in this, which is so annoying because literally everything, it's just I bought the wrong size and everything. We're talking for 12 minutes, cool. Um, this next top, I hope I'm in focus, but I really can't tell. Oh, that's my pile of dirty, like that's my pile of <laughs> dirty clothes. I'm just going to get rid of, that's embarrassing. Okay, anyways. Um, this is, so I thought this was going to be like a tank top, but it's really just like a bra. But I love like the little, I love this little spaghetti strap. Not spaghetti strap. This really thin strap um trend i guess you could say it's so cute i'm really down for it um but this next thing is a super pretty skirt so i know this pattern has been really popular recently like sorry about my nails are kind of chipped um but like the white and black but i found this and it was kind of like it gave me like cheetah print vibes but not really you know what i mean and it's just this really pretty skirt it's kind of like a wrap skirt but it also is like tapered at the bottom and it has a slit in it I think it's super cute and super elegant and when I'm really really tan I feel like it'll look really good on me I don't know but I'm really excited about this one it'll be super duper cute in the summer so make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be asking a fool this summer even if it's at home like I'll be posting outfits and stuff like that I'm just really excited really trying to work on my clothes and like my wardrobe and everything and kind of develop my style so follow me on Instagram to stay keep up with that Oh, and this last thing was literally the only thing that I really got here that really fit me the right way. And it was just this, it's uh, it's like a one shoulder. I don't really like my armpit area. It's kind of like, mm, for me. Um, but this is actually really cute. I got it in a large, but it fits perfectly. The weirdest thing. I have mediums that fit me, larges that fit me, like things I should have gotten extra large. It's just really complicated out here. I really don't understand it. But yeah, it's just a super cute off the shoulder top. I love it. I'm about to get like three more because it's really cute. And I did not know I was going to be on the off the... Uh, the one shoulder trend but now I am I'm like full sending it I think this would be so cute with that skirt I just showed you guys in the last one like fit the next two things I got are two sports bras but before I'll just show you guys the accessories that I got so I've been needing belts my friend Jordan got me a belt for my birthday like two years ago and that's the only belt I wear all the time so I thought I owed it to myself to get myself some more belts so I got these kind of square belts right here um they're just white and gold and then black and gold they're just really simple. They feel like pretty good leather and they're actually kind of big on me. So I could have, they're only one size, but they fit me. So I'm happy about it. But I got this white and black one with the gold detailing on it. And then I also got these two ones, which if any of you guys know me, you guys know that I want a Gucci belt so bad, but um, I can't afford them right now. So <laughs> actually, I guess I could buy one. They're like $300, but that's a lot to spend on one belt. And I don't need to be spending that money right now. So I got these two. Um, this one's just like a circle pattern. And then this one is like a, kind of like a, I don't want to say bony, but it's kind of like a, ba oh, bamboo is probably a better word. It's like a bamboo kind of gold color. And then it's just a white and black belt as well. So there's that for the belts that I got. And then I got a lot of jewelry. So the first jewelry I got is, so these hoops that I'm wearing, they're gold. I don't know if I hate them or love them. I kind of hate them, but I also kind of love them. Like they're big and chunky. And I'm really into that right now. I don't know how I feel about that in a couple months, but I don't know. You tell me. Um, and then also was a two pack. So I got these and then these silver ones. Um, and I love silver jewelry too, but I'm trying to wear more gold, which is why a lot of the jewelry I did buy with this haul is gold. Because I'm trying to like branch out. I feel like gold is really pretty in the summertime, especially with like bronze tan skin. So yeah, I got these earrings as a two pack. Here's I got were these pearl hoops. Um, I love pearls and I love hoops and it was just a combination of both. These ones are little gold pearl hoops. They remind, these ones remind me of like Ava Jewels for some reason. I don't know why. Can you even see what they look like? 
earrings with little hoops dangling off the bottom. They're super cute. I almost wore them, but I have a hoop. I have a pearl in now, and I thought that was too much pearl for everyone, so I decided not to. And then next, I got a whole bunch of these gold rings, which I've been trying to wear more gold rings. So I just got a whole big old pack of them, and they're really cute. Like, they have these really big, chunky ones I'm super excited about. Like, these kind of rings have been really popular lately. Like, they're really chunky, like, kind of gold ones. And then there's just a lot of cute ones. They have, like, coin-looking ones. They have this one, which is super cool. You can't see because it's, like, my nails. Okay. Yeah, it's, like, it's gold with a thing on it. I'll leave everything linked down below, so don't worry if you guys want to chop it. Just... Look in the description, I'll have a thing linked down there. I also got a pack of layered necklaces, which you can't even see what it looks like anymore. Basically, okay, that's actually better. So basically it's like a regular gold chain, it's like a starry necklace, it's a little moon necklace, and then it's also, I think, like a really like pretty crystallized star. So, super cute, super cheap. So there's that. The first thing I have is this maroon sports bra. It's really super cute. Um, I love the strappiness and everything. It reminds me of like a Forever 21 kind of bra, sport, uh, like sports bra, but it's not. It's pretty good quality. I don't really have much to hold up, so for me, it's really good support, but I mean, I can't say speak for everyone on that. And the last thing that I have to show you guys is another sports bra, which I thought this was supposed to be marble, but it definitely is not marble, so I don't know who lied to me like that, but um, yeah, it's just this black and white. I don't really know what you would call this pattern, like etched pattern. I I don't know, edge of sketch, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's like chalky, I guess. This one definitely is super soft and it's definitely not supportive at all. It is cute though, it has cups inside of it. Um, it's definitely gonna be more of like a walk, like if I just decided to like go on a walk or something or like do some yoga kind of sports bra, not really like a heavy intense workout sports bra, but I think I'm gonna pay like a dollar or something for it, so I'm really not gonna complain. I, that is everything in this haul. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want you guys to know that you don't have to get caught up in the sizes, numbers, anything like that, measurements. You know, clothing and fashion should be fun. It should be an outlet, a way for you to express yourself, not a way for you to get yourself down. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're watching to the end, comment, comment, rip Sav's wallet, RIP Sav's wallet. If you're still watching at this point, I really love you guys and appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. With everything going on, make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe down below because I do make a lot of lifestyle videos. And once this quarantine is lifted, y'all, we're gonna be having thrifting hauls. We're gonna be doing the thing. So get ready. It's gonna be a great time. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.